Hello children, how are you? Today we are going to study about a new chapter that is chapter 8 Cell Structure and Functions. See, we know that a building is constructed by using large number of bricks. So we can say that the bricks are the building blocks or structural units of a particular building. Similarly, every organisms are made up of cells. Cells are the basic structural unit of organism. See, you are an organism, I am an organism. If you take each organism, we can see that there are a large number of organ systems, isn't it? See, we have digestive system, circulatory system, nervous system. So, large number of systems join together to form an organism. Now, let us take one or organ system, say for example, digestive system. If you take digestive system, you can see that the digestive system consists of different organs. Say for example, mouth, tongue, esophagus, stomach and so on. And if you take one organ, say for example, if you are taking tongue. In your tongue, that is an organ, but this organ is formed by the combination of different tissues. What do you mean by tissues? Tissues are the combination of different cells that perform specific functions. Say for example, in your organ tongue, there are taste tissue which are made up of taste cells. Muscle tissues are there and see nerve cells are there. Blood cells are there. So you can understand that the organ is formed from different tissues and each tissues are combination of cells. Therefore, cell is our topic and cell we can understand now that cell is the basic structure. Cell is the basic structure of every organisms that perform certain specific functions. Therefore, we can define cells as the basic structural and functional unit of living organism. Okay, cell is the basic structure. Many cells join together to form tissues, different tissues forms the organs, different organs together form the organ system and the combination of different organ systems gives rise to an organism. So basically every organisms are made up of cells. See about these cells we are going to study now and cell study or the study of cell is known as cytology or cell biology. The study of cell is called cytology or cell biology. See, the cells are discovered by Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke in the year 1665, when he was observing the cork cell, cork means the bark of the plant. When he was observing the bark of the plant, by using his magnifying lens. He observed, see the picture, some honeycomb like structures he observed. The honeycomb like structure having lot of compartments. So he named each compartment as cells. Later, many scientists involved in the discovery of cells and a cells by a scientist by name Schleiden he found out that all the plants are also made up of cells. Entire plants are made up of structure and all the basic units called cells. And later Schwann, Schwann also studied in different kinds of animals and he also found out that animals are made up of the basic units called cells. A later, a crucial discovery was made by Virtue, Rodolf Virtue. He said that all the new cells are formed from the pre existing cell, already existing cell by a process called cell division. 
So, by combining all this discovery, the scientists put forward a theory known as cell theory. What cell theory states? See, cell theory states that all living organisms are made up of the basic units called cells. Every organism, each and every organism, whether it is a plant or an animal, okay, all organisms are made up of basic units called cells and cells are the structural and functional unit of organism both in plants and animals I am saying and the new cells are developed from the pre-existing cell by cell division okay this is cell theory see there are large number of cells in each and every organism the number of cells vary from organisms to organism. See, consider a very small organisms like amoeba having only one cell. But the elephant or the uh, what you call uh, the blue whale having large number of cells. So the number of cells as well as the shape of the cells as, the, as well as the size of the cells varies from organism to organisms. There are different types different size, different shape and the number also varies from organisms to organs. And based on the number of cell an organism possesses, we can classify the organisms into two types. One is unicellular organism and another one is multicellular organism. See the word uni, uni means one or single. See the organisms like amoeba, paramecium, bacteria, euglena and a fungus called yeast. All these organisms possess a single cell. So those organisms having a single cell are called unicellular organisms. Okay? And multicellular organisms. Multi means many. The word multi means many. So from this word itself we can define. Multicellular organism means the organisms that possess many cells. Say for example, human beings, dogs, cats, snakes, tiger, lion, all these organisms are made up of many cells, so they are called multicellular organisms. Okay, now let us see about shape of the cell. You can see in the picture, these are different types of cells. The first one you see, RBC, red blood cells. See, red blood cells are round or spherical in shape. Whereas, you see the muscle cells. Muscle cells are very long. They are elongated. And they have sharp end. We call it as elongated and spindle shaped cells. But in human beings, there is another blood cells called WBC, white blood cells. They are irregular or we can say shapeless. There is no particular shape for the human WBC as well as the amoeba. The cell of amoeba also keep on changing its shape. Okay. So if, you, if uh, for examination they ask, give two examples for irregular shell or the cells without a particular shape, you can write one is amoeba and another one is the human WBC. And see here another cell. This is called the nerve cell or neuron. The human nerve cells are branched okay they are branched cells but the sperm cell you see the sperm cells they have they are elongated they are very long and which are capable of movement so from this we can understand that the cells are of different shape now coming to the nerve cells or neuron see nerve cells or neuron are the cells which are responsible for carrying message from your body to the brain and receive the message from the brain to the body. Say for example, you consider that you are tasting a food. The taste, the food taste, how you are knowing the food taste? Because the sensory cells, that is the neuron or nerve cell present in your tongue, give a message to your brain and your brain respond to that. Okay, so that you are knowing the taste. Even somebody touches you. Okay, 
immediately the branch and nerve cells understand that somebody is touching you and give the message to the brain and brain recognize it so nerve cells are responsible for sending messages to the brain from the body and receiving the reply from the brain to the body okay see this is the nerve cell in nerve cells you can see a branched structure okay this area okay the cellular area is known as the cyton or the cell body the center part you see the center area is known as the cyton or the cell body see the cell body having lot of branches you can see the branches the branches are called dendrites or dendrons okay the branches of the cell body or the branches of the cyton this part is called cyton the branches are called dendrites and at the center of the cell body you can see a nucleus and see here one of the dendrite one of the dendrite is very long okay that long dendrite is known as axon that is called axon and axon is covered by a fatty layer that is called the myelin sheath okay the axon is covered by a fatty membrane that is called myelin sheath and at the end of the axon you can see again branches these are called axon terminal or axon end see consider that someone is touching you the dendron receive that and the message will passes through the axon up to the axon terminal and this axon terminal will be connecting to the another nerve cell and that nerve cell again carry its finally the message will be transmitted to your brain are you clear so this is the nerve cell the nerve cells are present throughout your body okay are you clear nerve cell is very important nerve cell is called neurons this each see the nerve cells join together form your nervous system nervous system means the system that includes brain your spinal cord and lot of nerves okay brain spinal cord and different nerves together form the nervous system and nervous system is made up of basic unit that is cells they are called the nerve cells or neuron this is the structure of neuron this is very very important are you clear see the structure nerve cell is different whereas the blood cell you have seen earlier see the blood cell the blood cell is round in shape spherical in shape are you clear so based on the uh, uh, function based on the function a cell perform the shape varies the shape changes are you clear now some of the cells are very small when i am speaking about the size of the cell i want to clarify you see the size of the cell and the size of the organism having no relation don't think that the elephant is very big so their cells are very big no not like that the size of the cell varies from organism to organism see the very smallest cell the very smallest cell is the cell of mycoplasma or you see mycoplasma is a kind of bacteria that is called pplo pleuro pneumonia pneumonia like organism pplo means pleuro pneumonia like organisms these organisms possess the smallest cell very smallest cell see 0.1 to 0.5 micron that much small it is whereas see the cell single cell egg of ostrich the ostrich egg bigger than the palm of the particular person he is carrying this uh, uh, egg see the ostrich egg is the largest cell largest single cell is the cell of uh, the egg of ostrich which is about 170 mm into 130 mm okay that much big it is okay some of the cells we can see by our naked eye see the hen's egg okay the uh, egg which you are making the omelets see that is a single single cell okay so the cells vary in their size very smallest cells are pplo or it is mycoplasma and the largest cell is the egg of 
ostrich okay hope you understood this right okay